So, it's been a week. I'm over this. I'm calling these guys today. Give for calling the Land Rover Enthusiast's first choice for parts and accessories. For all questions regarding an existing order, please press 3. For questions regarding an item you've returned, please press 4. To schedule service on your vehicle, please press 5. Seriously, what kind of business are you running if I can't even dial into you with the standard iPhone? Like the number one phone in America can't get into you. What kind of business are you running? So this clutch fan is the only part that I have in the engine bay that I can do today without having other parts on hand that I need. Now, I do have a set of transmission cooler lines. I also have a new set of radiator hoses, coolant hoses. However, I'm saving that because I need to do that at the same time that I do the head gasket job and at the same time that I do all of the rest of the 30,000 mile service, I have a transmission service pack coming from that transmission. And I was hoping to do that all at the same time. That way I don't have to use two sets of fluids, you know? So I tried to be a smart shopper and I tried to find the best prices on parts. But, you know, all things being equal, same parts, same quality, why not go from the cheapest vendor? Also, I was gonna give a smaller vendor that I had seen some positive things about in the forums a shot at trying to, you know, come through for me on this, you know? Be a good guy, help, help the small guy out. I'm a small guy, they're small guys, whatever. That being said, I'm running into a problem that I used to run into all the time when I worked in the transportation industry, and that was basically there's three rules on every project that you do, and there's three priorities, and you have to balance them, and you're never going to hit 100% on all three of those priorities. I don't care who you are. Anytime you're choosing a product or a service in life, you're going to be met with this, the triangle of choice, okay? These three legs of this triangle are made up by the base here, which is correctness. And this is something that you never want to say no to. Everything should always be done to a minimum standard level. So that really leaves these two legs up here, which are speed and efficiency or fast and the cost, which is how cheap can you get it relative to the competition? Now, I made this last purchase with all of our big budget, our items on our budget overlanding bill based on this one and this one alone. And I went between two different vendors. Uh, the first one being Atlantic British. And you've probably already heard of them. I mean, they have a big presence on YouTube as far as their tutorials and instructables. And then I saw these other guys and I looked at their page and they kind of reminded me a lot of the people that I interact with in the, the forerunner side of things. Price-wise, they were very competitive or if not better in some instances than the big big boys in the block Atlantic British. I went line by line and I shopped these two orders and I just went straight on price. And these are the items that Atlantic British was better on and the items that was better on are not here because it didn't ship my order yet. They've got my head gasket set and my ARP studs. They had such a big price differential on the ARP studs, I thought it was worth ordering with them. I probably saved $100 to $150 doing it this way. Was it worth ordering now? Well, I don't know. It's a week later and I'm laying on the floor of my garage making this stupid video. Here we are today. Um, it's Thursday. I got the rover all caught up with what I could do with everything on hand, which means I installed the stereo, which is fun. I haven't done any soldering in a long time, so I took up some time. I got that in the T-1000 
tail light repaired and now I am in the Forerunner going out with my old neighbors, Renee and Candace. We're gonna go up and do Broken Arrow in Sedona because they've never done it. And I needed to get the hell out and go do something. Got my fearless companion with me and we are gonna go have some fun here today. So here's the latest on the parts situation. I've had a email exchange back and forth this morning with my vendor. Here's the deal. The parts order is held up because I ordered a set of cup holders. And the cup holders, they said, are a few weeks out. And there is a serpentine drive belt that I put in on that order that's a couple of days out. And they're just now notifying me of this lateness. And that's the reason why the order is being held up, which to me is very bad customer service. If you've got an issue like that, you should address that right away with the customer so that they know and they're not sitting there on their hands waiting for parts that they need that are held up by parts they don't need. So I told them to cancel the cup holders and the serpentine belt. I will get those from my vendor of choice now because they can't deliver on it. I mean, it's a serpentine belt that should be able to get that over the counter in AutoZone. So not a big deal, but I really need that head gasket and those studs and they were holding that order, waiting on the other inconsequential pieces of that order. It doesn't sit well with me. So, anyway, um, that's the dress. We should have some parts coming, and hopefully next week we can start in on the teardown and head gasket replacement. Fingers crossed that those parts show up next week. So, until then, um, I'm just going to go have fun, which we're doing right now. We're going to go out to Sedona and crawl around on the Red Rocks for a while.